all right guys i'm pushing through to make this video for you i got all the other ones made that i was going to make today but my tummy is not pleased so i'm gonna go ahead and make this one it is going to be salmon croquettes sorry if the camera's a little shaky i'm kind of having to hold it to kind of manipulate with the different things that i have going on right now but um let's talk real quick guys salmon croquettes there is a long-standing debate about those when you open them looks like this inside there are bones and there is skin now a lot of people want to go through and pull the bones out and take the skin off that's not necessary the way i make them is like my grandma made them open the can drain the juice off dump it right on in the bowl and you go through with your hands and kind of separate it, squish it up real good. Those bones are good calcium. Those bones are good vitamins and everything. And once you crush them, they're really soft. You cannot taste those bones in the um in the dish, and especially once you get through cooking. So you can take the bones out if you like, but I leave the bones and the skin in for nutrients. But I'm going to go ahead and mix them up very quickly for you. Again, this will be on my vlog. So, well, I guess blog, I'm sorry. So, if you miss anything, don't worry. It'll be over there, and I'll link it down in the description box. So, follow along, guys. All right. So, here we go, guys. Again, this is the salmon, and I'm just dumping it in the bowl. There may be a little juice left in there. Oh, a lot of juice left in there. I'm using four cans, but you guys are not going to need that many, but I'm using four cans, so if you can see a little section fell off there, and the skin around there, and right where my thumb is, those are bones. Guys, this, I mean, looks, it smells nasty, but it's going to be delicious once we get through with it. What you want to do is just do like I'm doing now. Go through, grab chunks of it, rub it between your fingers, and you'll feel the bones as you go through. And crush them as you go, as you break the meat up in the skin. It's going to break up as well. So you just want to go through and do that. shouldn't take very long. And this is if you choose to leave them in. You can pull them out as well. It's just whatever you choose to do. But this is how I make mine. So we're just going through and pinching chunks of it and rubbing it between our fingers so that we crush those very soft, tiny bones up. So I'm going to get that done. And we'll be back to show you what I put in them. Alright guys, I'm back. That looks a whole lot better there. Just looks kind of like crushed up, well, kind of like tuna. So, and all I did was go through and just kind of squeeze and break the bones up and cut the, um, break the bones up and that's, um, and mix the skin in and that's what it looks like there. So next thing we want to do is it needs a little seasoning, just some light seasoning now, guys, because this already has, it's already pretty salty. So what we're going to do is going to go in with a little garlic pepper seasoning, just a little sprinkle. I'm going to say that was no more than two teaspoons. I'm trying to keep one hand clean. Next thing we're going in with is going to be flour. Can you see it? I don't think you can see it. It's flour. Okay. 
next morning with a little cornmeal this is actually cornbread mix or cornmeal mix doesn't really matter you want to go in with just a little bit of that now we're going to mix this until it forms like a kind of soft dough Also, we're going to go in with two eggs. We're gonna go in with some diced onion. This is already pre-chopped, so it's about the equivalent of um a whole medium onion. And we're gonna go ahead and get this mixed up. I'll show you what the dough looks like, and we're gonna start cooking them. Alright guys, here's the dough. It's a little stiffer. Kind of looks the same, but a little stiffer, a little smoother, and everything's mixed in. I'm going to start um, frying these up over here. And once I get them fried, I'll show you what they look like. I'm going to need two hands, so um, I'll probably show you once I get a batch on and they start frying. Oh, and um, you want about... About that much... That's about how much I use for mine. About a palmful. So I'm going to pat these out and drop them so you can see what they look like.